afternoon, the man accused of firebombing the Old Navy appeared in federal court this morning. And for the first time, he was publicly linked to the string of other arsons around the city, including the Carlisle building in Knob Hill. News 13's Fernanda Lopez was there at federal court. Fernanda? Kim, today the judge decided David Hickman is a danger to the community and a flight risk, so he'll stay behind bars until his trial. The state argued he could strike again and that he's a danger to the community and to responding police officers and firefighters. The state also linked Hickman to the $9 million Carlisle fire, the overnight attacks on three Starbucks, a Barnes & Noble, and a pro-life ministry all last week. They also said there could have been more fires if police didn't catch them when they did. Police arrested him after he drove away from the Old Navy and say they found guns, ammo, explosive materials and mason jars that our sources tell us were filled with gasoline. They're waiting on more evidence and lab reports to charge him with the other crimes. The defense asked the judge to release Hickman to a halfway house so he could get counseling. I think he's a sick young man that needs some treatment. We're going to try to figure out what's going on with him psychologically and hopefully have some answers as to why he did what he's allegedly accused of. Now, his defense argued Hickman is a lifetime Albuquerque resident and would be under strict monitoring with a GPS tracker. Against, again, the judge denied the defense's request for release. She also cited five prior failures to appear in other minor cases. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Fernanda. Now, the damage totals from all the fires could be staggering. Here's an example. Today, prosecutors revealed that the Old Navy fire alone ruined $700,000 in merchandise.